Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to TerraTech. Uh, today we're going to be actually redesigning this base. It's not going to be a speed, speed build, though. So I'll, uh, I'll try to cut out some of the more unimportant bits. Uh, I wanted to sort of consolidate everything. And I'll go over this vehicle in just a second as well. I wanted to sort of consolidate everything. Like, I sort of have a, a plan in my mind. This I just kind of made freeform, but I actually have a plan in my mind where I'll have all the different scrappers sort of on the ground, and then there'll be a bunch of tracks going up for each different one that go up, like, uh, vertically. And then there will be, like, hand or arms sticking out of the base uh, that go off to be either refined or sold or whatever. So that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, this vehicle, uh, shout out to Lathrix. I was watching one of his videos, he made a crane, and I was, I've, I've been wanting to create a vehicle that I can use for collecting items more easily, and I couldn't figure out how to use the block magnets effectively, but it appears something like this works out pretty well. It's a very basic design. I uh, kind of copied the base idea from him, but the design itself is actually somewhat different. I use tracks, uh, have a lot more batteries and armor plates, different weapons and stuff, but the idea is the same, a fat base, a tall tower, more stuff sticking out with a bunch of block magnets on the front, so that way we can go out and destroy enemies and just scoop up all their blocks and bring them back to base and then just drop them off at the black hole without having to, you know, carry a black hole with us and drop it off and whatever, which is kind of a pain in the butt. All right, but with that being said, uh, let's see what we want to do Oops. for the base of this. Now, I want these scrappers to be slightly off the ground, just because sometimes they don't grab items off of the magnets here, and I want to be able to use this vehicle without lowering the magnets themselves. Because as it is right now, we can pick up most items Oops. and fire our guns and stuff without... Uh, the guns hitting the blocks we're, sh we're carrying, so we don't destroy them by accident. So it's, it's pretty handy. This is like a really good design, and I don't really know. Besides like efficiency, like you know, like armor plating and... Why are we shaking? Besides like armor plating and better places, uh, what more we could do to improve it. Alright, where's an anchor block? We have one GSO fixed anchor block. No, it'll be fine to start with. Let's just... I want to go a little bit away from the base, so that way we have room to do whatever we need. Alright, let's uh, just throw this like right there, and that looks good. I want to have the scrappers maybe like two blocks up, or two of the, the GSO blocks up, rather. So like right... I guess that's actually technically two blocks up, because this is the first one and that's the second one. Alright. And I don't know if I want to have just one scrapper, or if I want to have multiple scrappers. I should probably do multiple scrappers, yeah. Okay, let's, um, manufacturing blocks, venture scrapper, let's turn this, get the, get the butt facing down, or the intake facing down, come on. I just want to make sure it works as well, can, can we not do that? Hello? Sure we can, because we can get it facing the other way. Okay. So... Like that. Let me just make sure this works by taking like a receiver. Oops. Hold on, if I get close enough to this, will it drop it? I did for a second there. Okay, let's uh let's try like have it sticking out this time. Come on, I know you can do it. Oops. Okay, so after much headaches and trying to figure out how to uh, how to sort everything. This is the design I finally come up with. Uh, it's only using two of each thing. Oops, this one's slightly off. There we go. Uh, two of each scrapper, which gets fed onto a circulating track, and to get up from this track, we are going to use uh, little ramp blocks, I think would probably be the best aesthetically. Or step conveyors, I guess they're called. We'll have them go up like this. Oh, well, it'll be going the other way, but I don't think we can set it to do that just yet, but let's make sure. Uh, let's attach something like this. Have we go this way? Okay, so this stays undisturbed. And things can go around and get picked up. Alright, so let's go ahead and repeat that process. Alright, so this is the setup so far. Basically... Yeah, items get scrapped, they get flung under this conveyor belt. I have two filters down here set to filter anything, so they'll actually get pulled from the line uh, over time and then fed up these 
uh, conveyor belts that go horizontal or vertical up onto another rotating belt here, which is going to have just a bunch of refineries on it, uh, just so that it'll pull any unrefined resources in and turn them into refined resources. Uh, before and I'll add another filter pulling refined resources only out, which will then be sold. And I really like this sort of concept so far. It looks pretty nice. All right, here it is. Uh, just alternating refineries so that uh, either side that it come that the items come up on actually. Now we're actually going to need to get rid of these two of these refineries because this will actually. I don't know if this will actually stop the items from getting through, but it will certainly bug out the system, and I don't really want that. So we're actually just going to have. We can actually probably do three refineries. Actually, no, because they, they need two blocks of clearance, otherwise they can get caught and like fall off and stuff if they can't move all the way up. So I guess we're just going to stick with two. That's kind of unfortunate. I'd like to have more, and I guess I could expand the thing out more, but I also don't want the intakes getting uh, too cut off and being unable to add a bunch more items to be refined. So I guess we're just going to stick with two for now, which is fine. It'll, it'll be okay. And then... Oops. Oh crap! Don't want uh, don't want these getting eaten yet. Oh, all well, those can get eaten. It's fine. Uh, just so we can see if the thing actually works. So will it pull items off? Yes, it will. And sometimes they won't always get pulled off, which is fine, because that's what there's another one over there. So usually they'll get pulled onto the first one they come across. But if there's too many items going across at once, uh, they'll just skip it and go to the next one. And now I could set it for one to pull in raw only and one to pull in refined only, but again, it wouldn't really matter. So as you can see, the raw resources get automatically pulled into the refineries and then sent on their way around the track. <laughs> so you can actually see it sort of in motion, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. How do I want to do this? Probably have it come off like here and then out so it doesn't cut off either of the uh, scrappers. I mean, it, cut off is the wrong word. But if we have a large tower of items being scrapped, we don't want the uh, the conveyor belts getting in the way. Alright, so here is our temporarily, at least, finished base. Uh, I'll add guns to it, but I just wanted to uh, show the basic production setup before I added everything onto it and cluttered it up. Uh, besides the shields, which I need there just for protection while I'm actually building the thing, because I don't want a random enemy to come in here and destroy stuff while I'm working on it. Okay, so as mentioned before, we have two of every intake. Uh, we had to move the Nighthawk intakes, or the um, scrappers. I don't—I always forget the names of them. Uh, the scrappers out just a little bit in order to make room for another uh, filter. So there's now four filters spaced out evenly around the con bottom conveyor belt. So there shouldn't be too many uh, sort of bottlenecks. Uh, they're definitely, it'll still get kind of clogged up if I drop like a ton of stuff in everything at once. Uh, and then everything comes up through here. There's one right there, one right here, uh, one right here, and one right here. All lined up with the uh, filters down below, of course. Everything goes around this conveyor belt. And I was finding that with the, just the two, um, sorry about the little graphical glitching, just the two refineries in the middle here, uh, Sometimes it would get to the point where be, there would be so many raw resources going around the track that nothing could actually leave the refineries. And since all these filters are set to refined resources only, it would just be an infinite loop. And the, the refined resources couldn't get on the track because it was full of raw resources. And the raw resources couldn't get in the refinery because there was no room. So what I did is on two of the uh, filters, because that's the only place I really had room to, is I added an extra... Uh, refinery in here so that it'll pull things off the conveyor belt and then put them directly onto um, the track for the uh, seller. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So it'll pull resources directly off the line, filter them, or um, refine them, and then sell them. So it's a pretty much flawless system as far as I'm aware. Hello there, Crane, doing the boogie. You want some screen time? <laughs> Uh, I have added an AI module somewhere up here. Here it is, just on a random spot. I think everything is covered by regen and the important parts 
are covered by shields. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Now let me let me back this guy up a little bit. Oh, are we are we stuck? Did the AI get itself stuck? Come on. Uh, uh. There we go. All right. Let's uh, just go far enough away that it won't bother us. As you can see, our missile tank is just over there, just chilling, doing whatever. I'm not really sure what it's doing. Uh, go over to this little guy. This is not combat. This has no combat capabilities. I just wanted to. S I just threw together something quickly to uh, be able to more easily show off the base, and I'll add more solar panels and stuff. Uh, but just for now, I just have the six. So I'll do a quick demonstration just to show that it works. We'll do a little bit of everything. Uh, all blocks. All right, let's just throw down some wheels. For that. GSO stuff. Some more wheels over here. And it doesn't really matter what we want to do, but I'm just going to use wheels for now because we have a ton of them for all the different factions. Uh, and I've found out that the... Uh, it doesn't really matter if you have an obstruction above the uh, above the scrappers; it'll sort itself out. Oh, was that venture? That is venture. Whoops. I'm a dingleberry. <laughs> I was wondering why none of those wheels were getting picked up. And now here's the GSO stuff. It's feeling a little bit laggy as it's trying to process all the stuff on the screen, but that's okay. Because again, we, normally we wouldn't have this many items, but. This is just for the sake of showing how the entire thing works, and that it does in fact work. See, it just it doesn't mind going around the uh, obstructions. That's kind of loud. <laughs> See, I'm pretty happy with this, so I, I can go out hunting with my crane, or just clean up after an invasion on my territory. Uh, and then just drive around and drop everything off near the scrappers, and it'll all be taken care of. I don't have to worry about uh, specific positioning or oops, let's zoom around here, or like making sure everything is spread out equally here, and then having everything get filtered onto well, two tracks, I guess technically, one for resources that get refined and one for resources that are already refined. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to add some defenses onto this. I'm going to make it a little bit better than just a couple weird towers with uh, three-pound cannons on them. I'm probably still going to use three-pound cannons just because I don't have the... Um, where is it? The, like th Not the 13-pound cannon, but the... Uh, oh, I can't actually uh, see it because I don't have any in my inventory. One second. The Megaton Cannon. I've not discovered that yet, although I haven't done any missions, uh, really. So probably as soon as I do any like GSO missions, I'll find it. But uh, I've just been focusing on getting money and building up bases and stuff. So yeah, see you guys in just a minute. Alright, so I've gone ahead and torn up my old base, which was sitting right about here. Moved up my uh, black hole. Actually, I need to do one thing. I did not attach any uh, remote chargers to this. I've gone ahead and added... 3 pound cannons up the vertical conveyor belts on every side and then all around the edges and on the top I've added these venture uh what are they called hailfire rifles because they're medium range uh, running a bit short on cash i'll probably eventually upgrade them to nighthawk uh rifles but that's about it uh, there's still space for improvement uh, let's see i'm probably going to add Actually, no, because that would... Would that get in the way? No, actually, I don't think it would. Let's go ahead and add our, uh, our remote chargers to the side of the uh, conveyor belt. I think that'll be fine. Just doing it like that. I'm actually not super sure about the GSO and the Venture ones, because it looks like it's right on top. If I have to get rid of them, that's okay, because it looks like it's totally fine for the Geocorp and the Nighthawk ones. So we can just get rid of them if we have to, but let's see. Let's do this little pit machine gun. Delios, make sure they get eaten up, alright. Okay, it appears to be fine, so we'll leave them as is. I mean, it looks a little crowded, but functionally it's okay. <laughs> Actually going up on top of the conveyor belt. I don't know if that's going to cause issues or not, but again, we're not going to be stacking them up that high too often. 
so it should be fine. Uh, can that reach our black hole? It cannot, so we'll need to create one more little outpost, which is fine. Just a minor inconvenience. Alright, gone ahead and moved this a little bit closer. The battery's in a bit of an awkward position, but this is literally the farthest I could get it away from the uh, coils while still being able to recharge. And this is just out of range of the Nighthawk thing. So if, if we have to unload a lot of Nighthawk stuff, some of it will end up getting absorbed again, which is fine. We can just drop it off and uh, just dump it back on if we have to most of the time. I'm going to be coming over here to offload all my stuff anyways, rather than trying to go to the individual scrappers. Uh, and then I'll just manually drop off all the stuff in front of the corresponding scrappers that I want to get rid of. So... Yeah, I think that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching as always. Feel free to leave any questions, comments, feedbacks, suggestions, you know, whatever the works. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.